Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to find the equation of the line of best fit, how to draw a scatter diagram, and how to find the correlation coefficient. So let's start with pulling out Desmos calculator. Just type it in and this one will show you. So to find the equation of the line of best fit, let us click the add item and the table so as you can see we have x1 and y1 so first thing to do is to put all the values of x's which is they from 1 to 10 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and the corresponding value of y we have 9 3 2 6 9, 3, 2, and 6, 8, 6, 10, 4, 8, 6, 10, and 4, and we have 5 and 2. So as you can see, the scatter plot is showing on your screen. Now, you can actually adjust the interval if you want to see the graph visibly. So just click the graph setting. So you know that your x starts with 1 and ends at 10. So if you want, you can just type from, let's say, negative 1 and ends the number. Since it's 10, you can actually do 12 or whatever number you would like or interval you want to put for as long as all the values of x's are there. And then, if, let's say, your x is about, let us see, is about day, so label it day. And on the y-axis, since the value starts at, the lowest value starts at 2, so we can actually start at negative 1 as well and ends the highest number for the y-axis is 10 so if you want to make it 12 that's up to you and your y is hours so we can label the y-axis as hours and then there you go so this is a clear picture of the scatter diagram so from the graph showing the scatter plot can we say that there is a relationship between the two variables x and y, that is the day and the hour? So what is the relationship? Is there a positive correlation, negative correlation, or there's no correlation at all? From the graph, we could see that x has no correlation with y. But how do we know? Let us draw d line of fit okay so first is hit y and then shift underscore you need to put y1 okay remember for the y equals mx plus b we are using equal sign but in finding for the equation of a line that best fit this illustration we will use tilde and that is shift there is a symbol before number one on your keypad or just show the keypad and find for the symbol. Okay, let us find. And here is the tilde symbol. So if you don't want to use the shortcut on your keyboard, just use the keyboard on Desmos. And you know that the equation is y equals mx plus b. So this will be m and your x since we are using x1 and y1. So this will be x again, shift underscore 1 and then plus b. So this is y equals mx plus b. So here is your graph. So do you see any relationship? It is clearly showing on the graph that x the number of days and the number of hours are not correlated with each other. Now, how will you find the equation? So I want you to look at the value of the slope, which is negative 0.0175758, and the y-intercept is at 
6.46. So, it is best to use two decimal places, round it off. So, this will be negative 0 0.18. This will be your slope and your y-intercept is 6.47. Now, let's go back to the choices. So, what is the equation of a line of best fit for this data or for this table? So, let's show the answer. And the correct answer is y equals negative 0.18. Where did we get that? From the slope over here, x plus 6.47. And that is our y-intercept, which is 6.47 rounded off. So this is how we find the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation of a line of best fit for the given data and how to draw a line as well. Now, if you are asked to find for the correlation, we say that there's no correlation at all or zero correlation. So how do you do that? There are two ways. One is type C-O-R-R, -R, stands for correlation, or if you don't want to type it, okay, go to function, click stats, and find C-O-R-R. -R. So it's actually the same. So just type C-O-R-R -R for correlation. And we are finding for the correlation of X1 and Y1. So we will type X1, comma, Y1, and there you go. The value of R or the correlation coefficient is negative 0 0.19 rounded off until two decimal places all right so this is how we find the equation the correlation and the graph of this data now if you will share this just click the share graph you can actually print it you can actually export or embed or copy the link, but I want you to export it and you can actually change the size of your graph. Small, medium square, large, medium rectangle, okay? But I am allowing my students to do the small square to save space. So you can make your line thickness as thin, medium, or thick right but i prefer medium or just thin if you want to you can actually download it or you can drag and drop it to the documents that you have so again this is how you find the equation of a line best fit for this data set how to draw a scatter plot and how to find for the correlation coefficient if the variable x and y are correlated with each other. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something from me today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I upload new videos about teaching, about mathematics, and most of all about teaching here in the United States as a J1 teacher. Have a great day and please keep safe. Bye-bye.